Hi, I'm Dr. Tyler Nordgren. I'm an astronomer. I got a PhD from Cornell University. But one of my passions outside astronomy is the national parks. And that's why starting back in 2007, I began working with the national parks on preserving dark starry skies and helping promote that to the visitors that go to America's national parks. Because one of the things that people found is that people who go to national parks are looking for that experience whether it's grizzlies or granite cliffs or waterfalls, they want to see things they can't see at home. And dark starry skies are one of those. So for about 15 years, I've been working with national parks to help promote the, the parks as a place to go and see the stars. Half the park is after dark is something that I came up with, along with a poster campaign to get people to go out and see the Milky Way when they're in America's national parks. But starting back in 2017, something else astronomical came to the national parks, and that was a total solar eclipse. It was the Great American Solar Eclipse that went from Oregon to South Carolina and went over such national parks as, ooh, I've got one here, Grand Tetons National Park. So back in 2016, I created a whole series of posters for people to go out and see the total solar eclipse in America's national parks. And that was one of the amazing things that happened because, ah, here we go, every single park in the United States on August 21st, 2017, had at least a partial eclipse. And I created this graphic here along with eclipse glasses to help share that experience with the 12 million people that lived in the path of totality or traveled to totality to see that eclipse. We've got another eclipse coming up here just ooh, under a week uh, on April 8th. And so I've been creating posters just like the ones I did back in 2017, but to uh, help promote the national parks that are in this path, places like ooh, Hot Springs or Cuyahoga Valley or uh, Ozark National Scenic Riverways. So I've been really lucky to be able to share both my love of national parks, astronomy, and art uh, with visitors from, from all over the country and, and all over the world. And it's one of the things I've been a real, real pleasure to be able to do. And this all comes because I had a passion for drawing when I was a kid. Even though I knew I wanted to be an astronomer, or actually when I was a little kid, I wanted to be an astronaut. But astronaut turned into astronomer when I went off to college and, and studied the sciences. But along the way, I never forgot my passion for drawing and artwork. So when it finally came time, gosh, like 40 years later, to write a book about astronomy in the National Park, I, I wrote a book, Stars Above, Earth Below, A Guide to Astronomy in the National Parks. I wanted to have illustrations that would show people what they could actually see in the sky overhead when you went to one of the national parks. And didn't have a lot of money, but I knew how to draw. And so I thought, I'll just draw a few posters to put into this book that'll look like those old national park posters everybody loves when they go to someplace like Grand Canyon. And as it turned out, they were wildly popular. Park rangers asked if they could use my See the Milky Way posters, like, ooh, this one behind me for uh, Great Basin. I said, sure, they could use them to, to help promote their, their night sky programs. And then visitor centers said, hey, we've got people asking if they could buy this poster. So I began to sell them to the National Book Bookstores. So one of the things I, I tell people, students, kids today, don't ever give up on your passions. Don't let your hobbies die because you don't know what you might make of them someday. Keep those passions, explore the world of ideas, and you never know where your, your interests may take you someday. For me, they've taken me to the national parks, to the sky above, and sharing the upcoming total solar eclipse with, with visitors uh, from all over the world.